Elon senior quarterback Thomas Wilson is now under the helm for his second season as the starting quarterback for the Phoenix. With a year's worth of experience under his belt, he talks about the differences between his rookie year and this season. This definitely feels more comfortable. Um, having a season under my belt, coming out here, uh, being the quarterback of the offense and the leader of the team, I feel more comfortable uh, with our play scheme, um, with the team, with the coaches, uh, the players around us and everybody. It feels more comfortable uh, after a year under our belt. Um, we, are, we are excited for the season, ready to come out here and, uh, and play, and get ready for uh, conference play. Wilson also recognizes the importance of being a leader on the team and how his performance can impact the younger players around him. You gotta take control of the team. Uh, you gotta do things by example, uh, on both on and off the field. Um, set good examples for the younger guys especially, because those are the ones that are gonna look up to the upperclassmen and the leaders of the team. With his year's worth of experience, Wilson now seeks to improve on mistakes made last year, particularly mistakes involving turning over the ball. We had uh, quite a few turnovers last year as an offense, and, and as a as a quarterback, I had too many. Um, that's something we worked on uh, in the offseason. Uh, the offense, me personally, uh, working with Coach Pence, our offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. We had, I think, uh, 22 or three interceptions last year, and uh, so we're trying to cut down on those turnovers uh, offensively and, and trying to uh, limit those and, and then again create turnovers on defense. So our turnover ratio uh, will be in the pluses. While turnovers may have been a problem, Wilson's connection with senior wideout Aaron Millette was anything a coach could have asked for. By the end of last season, the two had connected for 113 catches, 1,639 yards, and 12 touchdowns. We've uh, been together now for four years. Uh, both came in together uh, as redshirt freshmen and are both leaving together th after this year. So we've, uh, we've become good friends and, and, and good teammates. Um, communication has been uh, really high level for us. Um, I know where he's going to be on the field just about every route. He knows when I'm going to throw the ball, when to break out of cuts and stuff like that. And, and we both have high aspirations um, for the season and, and then afterwards. Um, I know he's getting a lot of attention um, from the NFL and whatnot, which is great. Um, I'm excited for him. Everybody on the team's excited for him. And, and we're all looking forward to that. But um, between me and Aaron, we've, uh, we've worked well together on the field. Uh, and last year, it kind of showed. Um, getting him the ball so many times and having him break some records and, and score a bunch of touchdowns and catch a lot of balls. Uh, it was good and hopefully we can uh, jump back into that uh, this year and, and go full strong to the conference. This year, Wilson is not only excited to be throwing to Millette, but also to a number of other receivers ready to make a greater impact on the team. We got a great receiving core, if not the best in the conference, one of the top in the country. Um, so uh, I'm really excited about that this year. Uh, we got guys inside. Uh, like Kier, JP, uh, Andre Davis, um, some freshmen, Blake Rice, who, who transferred from quarterback position. And then outside, we got Aaron, we got Rasan, we got Danny, and we got Ricky. Um, so they're all making plays for us. We've got a lot, we got a, a lot of group, group receivers out there. And uh, just looking forward to getting them the ball and letting them make plays. And like most other players on the team, Wilson's goal is to win the SOCON championship. Well, our goal is definitely to win a SOCON championship and get into the playoffs and then kind of keep rolling from there.